Hello, I want to spend this time talking about adding LED lighting to a wheelchair. I want to begin by sharing an anecdote from my own life. I was just recently approved for funding for a new electric wheelchair. As I went through the process of trying different models out, I also thought through what I planned to do with my life during the next five years. And as I thought about it, what stood out in my mind is that my need for physiotherapy. And because of my disability, it usually takes me until supper time to be feeling good for the day. So one thing that I wanted my new wheelchair to have was lighting on it. I asked if an electric wheelchair can come with lighting on it from the manufacturer. The answer is yes but the cost was $1,200. And that's just outrageously expensive, especially if you think about the cost of flashlights. In reality, electric wheelchair parts tend to cost 20% of what they're sold for. In other words, the cost of the manufacturing lights is approximately worth $220. So I started researching what other options there were and I came across LED lighting and specifically using flashlights. So I started thinking about what would I want on my wheelchair? And the first thing I thought of was how vehicles tend to have some type of red stoplight that's horizontal like a ruler on them. You know, if I'm going to put lights on my wheelchair, I basically want to emulate a vehicle so that the drivers on the road are already conditioned to or thinking about that type of, of, of signaling and drawing attention to myself, similar how a car in the dark, the lights on it would show that where you are and help avoid an accident. So I started looking at the local dollar store, what was available, and I found this. Now you can see that it's the shape that I wanted, the size of a ruler, but it isn't the right color. I have used spray paint before for various projects and I thought this was another time that I could go ahead and do so. So this lens in here is plastic. The rule of thumb when painting plastic is very light coats but several of them and it also takes up to seven days for paint to cure on plastic it's different than spray painting wood or spray painting metal. If you put it on too heavy then the paint actually bubbles up and the job that you did looks absolutely terrible. So I did my three coats of red paint and this is what I came up with. And it's exactly what I'm looking for. And there's the five lights that are in it. Now, the next step in this process is figuring out how you're going to attach the light to the wheelchair. When I received my wheelchair, I was a flyer was included and it said on it about not modifying the frame of the wheelchair. And the same message was echoed to me when I was at the retail store being fit for it and checking that it matched my body shape. So instead of using and drilling holes where you need them, this is the suggestion that I was given. It's a product called PL and this particular version is PL9000. Okay, this is a very very strong adhesive an example of what this is normally used for is adhering a sign to a building. 
it's made for the temperatures that you would experience if you went out in a Canadian winter and then you just have to mind the time frame that it was opened and then that you follow the directions on here like it says to apply it between uh, 10 Celsius and 38 Celsius that's roughly uh, 60 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit when you don't use these things as they're designed you just don't get the strength out of them the product doesn't cure correctly however this product here is extremely strong you only want to put it on once you're sure of the placement that you want your LED flashlight to go so what I would start with is masking tape you know and I would start by doing something just like this here we go and then putting it on your wheelchair where you want to go and even trying it for a day or two just to make sure you're happy and if you are going to leave masking tape on for more than 24 hours you need to make sure you're buying a kind that can be removed such as painters tape if you go beyond the 24 hour period otherwise there's adhesives that's on the tape the sticky part that will not let go or will leave some type of a residue over your light so with this flashlight this back actually just slides off like this but you would decide the flashlight style you want with what will work with it adhering lights under the seat of a wheelchair is a really great idea there's also the possibility of putting the lights on the sides of the seat I did not like the lights that were on the manufacturer wheelchair because they were so close to the ground and the position of them was actually just to the sides of the footrest and the fact is that the footrest is supporting your legs and I was blocking them when I tried out the example lighting I also want to tell you that the service technician that takes care of my electric wheelchair is extremely approachable and I would encourage you to use his wisdom or as a sounding board of where you could put lighting on the wheelchair you don't want to block out where the screw holes are and you also need to leave the room for allen keys to be twisted so there's on an allen key there's a part that goes like this and then most of them have a side piece as well that's an L shaped so you want to make sure that the wheelchair can still be serviced and not shoot yourself in the foot essentially by putting this putting this on the wheelchair the seat on my particular wheelchair has many adjustments on the back it both swings like this back and forth as well if you don't want your armrests to be level you don't have to have them they can be like this or else the controls at the back that lets the armrest go down lower or up higher you don't want to get this glue into the track that allows the adjustments to take place part of why I've made this video is that I want to challenge you to live outside your physical limitations and whatever reason that you're in a wheelchair for you know there still really is a life that can be lived regardless of physical limitations so I want to encourage you to be inspired and I want to encourage you to live the most that God's given you and to be thankful for it and I know there's a period of adjustment and grieving that sometimes goes on if you suddenly lose your mobility I certainly did not want to need a wheelchair and I put it off and put it off and put it off and by the time I got it I was basically at the point of being homebound and I was certainly really really glad they had made the decision so I just want to encourage you to live your life the best that you're able to 
and to use the wheelchair as a tool so that you can go out and be a part of the community where you live. Even if pain absorbs you, and I do deal with chronic pain, you could still attend even if it's just going to the swimming pool once a week and making the effort to connect with people. You'll soon enough build relationships and you'll soon enough increase your support system locally. Please give some thought to what I've said. I really do care and I want to see you make the most of this life. Thank you so much for spending the time with me today. Bye for now.